Hello. This is Skills Builder for Young Learners. Flyers One, Unit Four. Part One. Listen and look. There is one example. Is this the photo you took at the park this morning? Yes. Do you like it, Grandpa? It's brilliant. Do you know all these people? Most of them. The boy standing on the bridge is William. I like his purple sweater. It is nice, isn't it? It was a present, I think. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. Look at the boy in the red sweater. The one playing with the dog. Yes, that's Michael and his dog. They come to play in the park on Sundays. Is he in your class? No, but his dad teaches swimming at the sports center. Who's the girl holding the money? The one with the straight blonde hair. No, not her. The one with the curly red hair. That's Betty. Why does she have so much money? It's to buy ice cream for everyone. She's a wonderful friend. Do you remember my friend Sarah? Is she in the photo? Yes. See, she's carrying a yellow bag. Oh yes, near the bridge. What's in the bag? I think that's her lunch. Who's that boy playing chess? The one with the grey baseball cap. No, the other one. The one in the striped blue and white shirt. That's George. He's in my class at school. He looks clever. He is. He helps me with my science homework. Can you see the boy sitting on the blanket? Yes, he looks very pleased. He is. That's Frank. The other boy has given him a model spaceship to play with. That's nice. Well, they're best friends. Now listen to part one again. Look at the boy in the red sweater. The one playing with the dog. Yes, that's Michael and his dog. They come to play in the park on Sundays. Is he in your class? No, but his dad teaches swimming at the sports center. Who's the girl holding the money? The one with the straight blonde hair. No, not her. The one with the curly red hair. That's Betty. Why does she have so much money? It's to buy ice cream for everyone. She's a wonderful friend. Do you remember my friend Sarah? Is she in the photo? Yes. See, she's carrying a yellow bag. Oh yes, near the bridge. What's in the bag? I think that's her lunch. Who's that boy playing chess? The one with the grey baseball cap. No, the other one. The one in the striped blue and white shirt. That's George. He's in my class at school. He looks clever. He is. He helps me with my science homework. Can you see the boy sitting on the blanket? Yes. He looks very pleased. He is. That's Frank. The other boy has given him a model spaceship to play with. That's nice. Well, they're best friends. That is the end of part one. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Don't forget our visit to the new airport tomorrow, everyone. We haven't. We're all excited about this cool trip, Mr. Drum. Do we need to bring anything with us? Money or snacks? No, you don't, David. But perhaps you'd like to take your cameras with you. It'll be a good idea to take lots of photos. Brilliant. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Will we take a trip in a plane too? No, we'll stay on the ground this time. 
but we'll meet a pilot and he'll show us the parts of a plane, like the instruments and the wings. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Please think of questions to ask the pilot. Oh, yes. Like, what do they do in dangerous weather? Do they fly when there's a storm or fog? Excellent question. Write that one down, David. After we see the planes, we'll have lunch at the pizza restaurant there. We'll meet the man who designed the airport. He'll speak to us about it. What's the designer's name? Mr. Pepper. That's P-E-P-P-E-R. He studied in our school when he was a boy. He did? Wow! OK, now remember. The school bus will be here at half past eight in the morning, and we'll leave at nine o'clock. Don't be late. No problem, Mr. Drum. Now listen to part two again. Will we take a trip in a plane too? No, we'll stay on the ground this time. But we'll meet a pilot and he'll show us the parts of a plane, like the instruments and the wings. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Please think of questions to ask the pilot. Oh, yes. Like, what do they do in dangerous weather? Do they fly when there's a storm or fog? Excellent question. Write that one down, David. After we see the planes, we'll have lunch at the pizza restaurant there. We'll meet the man who designed the airport. He'll speak to us about it. What's the designer's name? Mr. Pepper. That's P-E-P-P-E-R. He studied in our school when he was a boy. He did? Wow! OK, now remember. The school bus will be here at half past eight in the morning, and we'll leave at nine o'clock. Don't be late. No problem, Mr. Drum. That is the end of part two. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. What did Helen eat in each place she visited? How was your holiday in the city, Helen? Did you see the castle? Was it as big as it looks in the photos? Oh, yes. It was huge. It had enormous walls and a big gold crown on top of the gate. We got so tired walking, we went to their cafe for something to eat. I had the best yoghurt and honey I've ever had. And then we walked for another two hours. Oh, wow. Can you see the letter F? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. Tell me about the stadium. Did you go to the football match? Yes. Dad wanted to see his favourite team play, and they won. He was so happy, he bought us all chocolate cookies as a snack. Before dinner. <laughs> Were they good? Delicious. I've never been to the airport. What was it like? It was strange, but wonderful too. It had so many shops, cafes and restaurants. We were early, so we had time to get pizza. Mine had olives, tomato sauce and three kinds of cheese. I really enjoyed it. It sounds like you had a lot of good meals on your holiday. Which one was the best? Well, we tried something everywhere we went, even the museum. But I think I enjoyed the noodles the most. It was the first time I used chopsticks, and the restaurant was on the top of a skyscraper. Oh, wow. What was the view like? Amazing! You know, we also had a wonderful view where we stayed, and I liked the bed in my room. It was so soft. Going to breakfast was fun, too. They gave me different fruits with my cereal every day. I liked strawberries best. I like hotels, because I don't have to make my bed there. When did you go to the museum? On the last day, but we didn't have much time. We had to go to the airport after that, so we had a quick tour and lunch there. Just a bowl of pasta and a salad. Wow, you're making me hungry. 
Now listen to part three again. Tell me about the stadium. Did you go to the football match? Yes. Dad wanted to see his favourite team play, and they won. He was so happy. He bought us all chocolate cookies as a snack before dinner. <laughs> Were they good? Delicious. I've never been to the airport. What was it like? It was strange, but wonderful too. It had so many shops, cafes, and restaurants. We were early, so we had time to get pizza. Mine had olives, tomato sauce, and three kinds of cheese. I really enjoyed it. It sounds like you had a lot of good meals on your holiday. Which one was the best? Well, we tried something everywhere we went, even the museum. But I think I enjoyed the noodles the most. It was the first time I used chopsticks, and the restaurant was on the top of a skyscraper. Oh wow! What was the view like? Amazing. You know, we also had a wonderful view where we stayed, and I liked the bed in my room. It was so soft. Going to breakfast was fun too. They gave me different fruits with my cereal every day. I liked strawberries best. I like hotels, because I don't have to make my bed there. When did you go to the museum? On the last day, but we didn't have my part four. Listen and look. There is one example. What did Sarah enjoy the most? What's the matter, Sarah? Why are you lying on the sofa? Oh, hello, Uncle Matt. I'm just tired. I was at the stadium yesterday. Did you go to see a match? No, I went to the Spring Festival. It was nice. There was a lot to see, so we walked a lot. Really? What did you like the most? The race. The prize for the winner was a new bicycle. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. How did she get to the stadium? Did your mother take you to the festival? No, she was busy at work. So how did you get there? Did you cycle? No, my brother's bike is broken, so Frank and I took the bus. Well, you're lucky. The stadium's not far from your house. No, it isn't, and the bus stop is on the corner. Two. Which film did they see? After the festival, we went to the cinema. What did you see? The new cartoon about insects? No, there were no tickets for that. I wanted to see the film called The Castle and the Missing Crown. Oh, I've heard good things about that one. Well, we didn't see it. In the end, we chose the adventure about a journalist looking for dinosaurs. It was brilliant. Three. Where's Frank now? I can't hear your brother. Is he at the chess club? No. Let me see. What time is it? It's three o'clock. Why? He has finished his golf lesson then. Oh, I didn't know he was getting lessons. I could teach him. He'd like that. You could tell him when he gets here. He's on the way home now. Four. Which costume is Sarah going to wear? You know, Uncle Matt, I've joined the theatre club at school. Really? I'd love to see you on stage. You can come to see me next time. Last week I was a queen. I wore a crown, long gloves, bracelets, and a big necklace. Did you? I'm sure you were great. I still remember you in your swan costume. You loved dressing up when you were five. I still do. Next time, I'm going to be a mechanic who fixes planes. It's going to be so cool. Five. When will she appear on stage again? 
So, when can I come see you play on stage? This month? No, we finished for October. You can come in November. Oh, OK. Which date? We always play on a Saturday. Let me check my diary. OK, the 14th is a holiday. You can come on the 21st. I can't wait. Now listen to part four again. One. How did she get to the stadium? Did your mother take you to the festival? No, she was busy at work. So how did you get there? Did you cycle? No, my brother's bike is broken, so Frank and I took the bus. Well, you're lucky. The stadium's not far from your house. No, it isn't. And the bus stop is on the corner. 2. Which film did they see? After the festival, we went to the cinema. What did you see? The new cartoon about insects? No, there were no tickets for that. I wanted to see the film called The Castle and the Missing Crown. Oh, I've heard good things about that one. Well, we didn't see it. In the end, we chose the adventure about a journalist looking for dinosaurs. It was brilliant. 3. Where's Frank now? I can't hear your brother. Is he at the chess club? No. Let me see. What time is it? It's 3 o'clock. Why? He has finished his golf lesson then. Oh, I didn't know he was getting lessons. I could teach him. He'd like that. You could tell him when he gets here. He's on the way home now. 4. Which costume is Sarah going to wear? You know, Uncle Matt, I've joined the theatre club at school. Really? I'd love to see you on stage. You can come to see me next time. Last week I was a queen. I wore a crown, long gloves, bracelets and a big necklace. Did you? I'm sure you were great. I still remember you in your swan costume. You loved dressing up when you were five. I still do. Next time, I'm going to be a mechanic who fixes planes. It's going to be so cool. 5. When will she appear on stage again? So, when can I come see you play on stage? This month? No, we finished for October. You can come in November. Oh, OK. Which date? We always play on a Saturday. Let me check my diary. OK, the 14th is a holiday. You can come on the 21st. I can't wait. That is the end of part four. Part five. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Look at the amazing pyramid in this picture. And the camels. I've only seen them in photos. Well, would you like to colour some of this picture then? Yes, I would. There's a river in the middle. Can I colour that? Yes, make it blue. OK. Can you see the blue river? This is an example. Now you listen and colour and write. 1. Can I colour something else? I really enjoy it. Of course. Two children are wearing shorts. Yes. Shall I colour the ones on the boy? No. Colour the ones on the girl. Use red. It's my favourite colour. No problem. Two. What else shall I colour? Perhaps you should colour one of the pyramids next. Can I do the big one? With the missing top? All right. Can I make it yellow, please? Of course. Three. 
I'd like you to write something now. All right. Where? Write something on that little fridge in front of the man. Okay. What shall I write? Can you see where it says fruits? Add the word snacks below it. Oh yes, he's selling them. Four. Can I colour one more thing? All right. The boy who's wearing shorts has got a nice T-shirt. Oh yes, I see it. Shall I colour it? Just the beetle on it. Make it a nice green. Great idea. Five. I think something is missing from the bus. Perhaps it needs one more word. What do you mean? Where? Well, there's a poster on the back. Can you see it? It's on the window. Oh yes. Complete what it says there. It should say gold tours, like the metal. Okay, there. It's ready. It looks great. Now listen to part five again. One. Can I colour something else? I really enjoy it. Of course. Two children are wearing shorts. Yes. Shall I colour the ones on the boy? No. Colour the ones on the girl. Use red. It's my favourite colour. No problem. Two. What else shall I colour? Perhaps you should colour one of the pyramids next. Can I do the big one, with the missing top? All right. Can I make it yellow, please? Of course. Three. I'd like you to write something now. All right. Where? Write something on that little fridge in front of the man. Okay. What shall I write? Can you see where it says fruits? Add the word snacks below it. Oh yes, he's selling them. Four. Can I colour one more thing? All right. The boy who's wearing shorts has got a nice T-shirt. Oh yes, I see it. Shall I colour it? Just the beetle on it. Make it a nice green. Great idea. Five. I think something is missing from the bus. Perhaps it needs one more word. What do you mean? Where? Well, there's a poster on the back. Can you see it? It's on the window. Oh yes. Complete what it says there. It should say gold tours, like the metal. Okay, there. It's ready. It looks great. That is the end of Flyers One. Unit 4